hi everyone welcome back to my channel so you guys have been asking for me to talk about the products that I use in my hair so today I'm going to get into that yes I am talking louder because I realized that my last video a lot of you weren't able to hear what I was saying so today I'm going to try to fix that that work for your hair you should stick to them so I returned to my natural hair in 2015 I don't like to use the word transition because to me your natural hair journey is something that you just see we kind of put it aside for a while and now we're picking it up back that's how I like to look at it so I returned to my natural hair in 2015 from my hair was relaxed I have basically been using the same products who say that the products that you use in your relaxed hair you can't use in your natural hair we just gonna go on YouTube and we hear people saying that listen you need to try this you need to try that you need to try this you need to try that I don't believe in going broke to maintain healthy hair so I have been using the same products from about 2008 to now why change what works you can always improve it but why change what works so I'm going to go into the products that I use so I use the Apogee line this is the Apogee shampoo and I shampoo my hair every two weeks I don't wash my hair every week I never have and I never will it's not just because I believe that it's not the best thing for your hair but I just don't have the time to do that so this is the shampoo that I use and this is the shampoo that I've been using from 2008 so the Apogee line um, why i continue to use this because i see that it works and it's pretty affordable now this shampoo i bought here in jamaica for a thousand dollars and i bought this at discount beauty supplies now the apogee line comes with a varied come with varied products so you have the shampoo as i said before and you have a leave-in conditioner now this is a recent one i've added i don't i never usually used leave-in conditioners but i decided to give it a try to see what it was all about um it says it's smooth and it tangles improves body and shine protects against heat now i don't use heat in my hair at all i used to use a blow dryer when i just started out but yeah i no longer use heat so when I wash my hair, I just air dry. But using this protein, this leave-in conditioner, it's been good. I wouldn't say I see any significant changes in it, but it does help my hair to be more detangled, so that's good. And it's pretty light. Sometimes you come across leave-in conditioners and they're pretty heavy. Um, it doesn't leave any residue. And it's just smooth as it says on the bottle so yeah I'd recommend the, the leave-in conditioner for those who are looking for a good leave-in conditioner you can give this a try but my favorite product and the product I've been using the longest is the Apogee two-step protein treatment now this is cool then for those who have thin hair or suffer from a lot of breakage listen to me this product is perfection 
perfection if it, if it, it's a little bit leavenite because i use it so much um well i would say it's so much because you should really only do protein treatment perhaps once per month that's how often i do it it says it stops hair breakage rebuilds hair structure for six weeks ideal for processed or natural hair i've been using this product when i had relaxed hair and i continue to use it with my natural hair it works it works it works it works it works it works <sighs> yeah time hot and why i decided to record this video today is because i'm going to wash my hair so i thought it was just right to just do this video on my wash day so two-step protein treatment what i have to warn you about though guys it stiffens your hair a lot so don't be alarmed thinking that listen this thing uh cut out your hair no it's just a part of the process so it's not the easiest treatment to use but i mean if you want the results you have to put in the work right right so this product must have um not in jamaica i know a lot of you guys are overseas you can get this product on amazon i believe i did buy this one on amazon and i'll be sure to put the link in the description box below in jamaica you can get this at discount beauty and i believe because it's a set you have the protein treatment and then you have the balancing moisturizer which you use after you use this so you don't wash your hair out you use this and then you wash your hair out because if you try to wash your hair out with this in it that's going to be disastrous so that's it for the protein treatment recently i decided to start using avocado since it's avocado season or pear season here in jamaica i used that once where i just used a uh, i wouldn't call it spoiled but a uh, overly ripe pear slash avocado as my protein treatment and why i decided to give that a try was because i wanted to incorporate something that gave Gave my hair a bit more shine because I noticed that I don't really have that shine and because I've been kind of distancing myself from oils a little bit I don't really use a lot of oils in my hair as I as you realize as I go through the rest of this video but yeah I've also introduced that so I'm going to be as transparent with you guys as possible there are other products that I do incorporate in my national in my hair product ritual so i'm going to make sure i include those as well so i have been using well i've used it about twice and it's just to just cut up the avocado and just put my hair and i leave it in for about half hour and yeah what i've noticed with that is that it does give you shine so if you're looking for a product that will make your hair more moisturized you can give the avocado a try if you're the type of person who is willing to put in the effort because i know a lot of you guys don't have the time or you just basically you don't have time you don't want to cut up nothing then you can always say bye to that and try something else for my conditioner because you know what i said guys ignore the noise i cannot live close to the roots so i can't help that but i am talking as loudly as i can to ensure that you still hear me so we spoke about the leave-in conditioner now i'm going to touch on my conditioner that i use weekly so this is called queen helene super cholesterol hair conditioning cream and it provides a restore shine and long-lasting vitality for extremely damaged hair I don't know why I tend to use products that are for extremely damaged hair because my hair isn't damaged but I find that these products will ensure that my hair does not become damaged so this product has been around since 1930 it's kind of old-fashioned like me so maybe that's why I like it but this product <laughs> is amazing right before as you can see i have a lot of hair 
this product allows me to use less product because it's that thick and it makes my hair extremely soft now when you have thick hair that is a blessing you need a product that's going to make going to make your hair soft and manageable and it's value for your money I've had this for over a year and I wash my and and it's just hair so just to show you how much you get for it and uh, I know a lot of us growing up we used to use cholesterol conditioner and then we kind of grow up and we start trying these new things is what I'm saying if something works why put it aside keep using it right so this is my conditioner keratin keratin two minute reconstructor now I add this to my routine maybe every um, once a month as well it adds strength and softness in one step quick and effective against heat and chemical damage as I said I don't use heat but I love the apogee line and it's been working for me so every now and again I add something new from that line and this is one of those products that I've added it just helps to do what the protein treatment does but you're able to use it more frequently because as I said I only use the treatment maybe once I remember once every 12 weeks basically so I use this in between it's a keratin two minute reconstructor and it helps with breaking shedding you know all of those little things that come with our natural hair from time to time and this is the keratin green tea reconstructor I use this when I wash my hair and to just maintain moisture as I style and yeah you just it's easy to use and then you just spray and that's it it allows your hair to keep moisture as you go along because you know sometimes you're styling your hair after washing your hair and it starts to dry out you can use this to maintain moisture maybe that's why I use so much of it <laughs> and I use my trusty shea butter every day <sighs> my hair gets dry I live in Jamaica and it's hot so I use my shea moisture in my hair this is my hair oil this is what I use to moisturize my hair every day and of course if you're familiar with shea moisture you know that this product is amazing it does my skin I use it in my hair I use shea, bus shea moisture <sighs> Is she my stuff? I mean, I use shea butter for basically everything. Oh, it's so hot, oh my god, it's so hot, anyways. So, yeah, I use shea butter every day to comb my hair, to style my hair, to keep my hair moisturized. And yeah, I have to use, I have to get the big bottle because I mean, I use a lot of pros. If I say I use it for so many things, I literally have to. Get a lot of it i bought this on amazon i don't remember how much it was for but i put the link in the description box for those in jamaica you know you can get a sheer butter at earth elements i would be a true naturalista if i didn't have a mix up mix up right so this this is the new addition and this is aloe vera, castor oil, olive oil, coconut oil. And you boil it and you strain it and you can apply it as your hair oil. I've always wanted to try aloe vera in my hair, but I was a bit, a bit reluctant because it's so sticky and uh, when I use it on my skin it's so itchy. So I was like, how would this work in my hair? But it works so if you're a type of person who wants to try a new air oil you don't want to spend a lot of money I mean you must have if you live in Jamaica you're guaranteed to have a neighbor or someone close to you with an aloe vera plant you can just ask them for a piece use that naturally you perhaps have coconut oil or olive oil in your house and castor oil is pretty affordable so you can just add that as well and if you don't like the smell 
you can add an essential oil to it such as lavender or your favorite oil to just cut down on the smell so yeah these are basically the products that I use in my hair and just some nuggets I I don't believe in going broke to maintain healthy hair if you come across a product and it's working for your hair stick to it why change it right there are lots of products on the market and a lot of them they're just there to, to really just overwhelm you you follow a lot of youtubers who say that you must have this you must have that listen you don't have to have it you can go through when I just came and um, returned to my natural hair naturally you have to try things and see what works for you after you've done that and you found something that works you stick with it you don't need to be out there trying every every everything as as Jamaicans and every pan will knock mm, scrap that I remember the saying <laughs> anyways yeah so as I'm saying you don't need to run and get every single product that's out there find something that works for you I've recommended a lot of products here can go out there and give them a try see if they work for you yeah this is my hair this is my natural hair so let me run you through the products again protein leave-in treatment the amazing protein treatment this is a leave-in conditioner I think I said protein treatment this is my shampoo conditioner Shea butter, mix up, mix up. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below what other video you like to see.